prepared to get slimed. That's what we're doing today. 24 copies of Slime Against Humanity from Murders at Karlov Manor. Let's go see the full deck list. What is Slime Against Humanity? Well, it's a three mana sorcery for two and a green. You create a zero zero ooze token with X plus two equal to the number of copies of Slime Against Humanity in all graveyards and exile. And then you can run any number of Slime Against Humanity in your deck. So today we're choosing to run 24 copies of Slime Against Humanity. And while we have, you know, a plan to get some of these copies in our graveyard in exile, primarily Serum Powder. You want to mulligan aggressively, exile as many copies as you can, but let's say you know, you don't exile that many. Well, you can just cast a copy of Slime Against Humanity and then Surgical Extraction yourself to remove some number of them. You could even leave a couple if you choose, so that way you could then cast a couple later on. You have Thought Seize to protect your combo. You have Collect Brutality to collect your combo and put more copies of Slime Against Humanity in the graveyard. Additionally, we have Gemstone Caverns, which exiles copies of Slime Against Humanity while accelerating us. We have Besaju who shelters all to make sure that our copies resolve against blue decks, and you can mulligan for it with Serum Powder. Additionally, we have Besaju who endures to blow up artifacts or enchantments that may be stopping us from winning the game. This is a pretty linear deck. However, we do get to run Kihira the Orphan Guard because we're not running any creatures in our main deck, so this is a free companion for us. But one of the beautiful things about this archetype is we need green cards in exile, which means we get to play Endurance and Force of Vigor pretty much for free because, well, we want those cards in exile. We have two additional copies for ge of Gemstone Caverns for when we're on the draw, and then Leyline of Sanctity protect us from discard. That's the entire deck list. If you have any ideas on how to make it better, put those in the comment section down below. But for now, we're going to hop on into that first match. I know that I'll see you there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to the first match. We are revealing our Kahira the Orphan Guard. Okay, Kahira has been revealed. We have a single copy of Slime Against Humanity, so we can go turn one Thoughtseize, turn two Slime, and then Surgical ourselves. This is probably worth not mulliganing for Serum Powder. I will keep. We'll put a Gemstone Caverns into play and Exile Overgrown Tomb. Cavern of Souls, okay. They named Goblin. Goblins versus Slimes. Turn one Aether Vial, okay. Another copy of Slime Against Humanity. We will Thought Seize them. They have their turn to Snoop. I guess they'd have to draw a land, actually. We'll take the Snoop. Play Overgrown Tomb. Pass the turn. Their Aether Vial goes up to one counter. Do they draw the land? They drew a second copy of Aether Vial. For not drawing a land, that was a pretty good draw. We'll play a... N Ooh. Okay, so we'll play the Blooming Marsh. This one will actually come into play tapped next turn. But it does look like I'm going to have a turn four win. So we'll play the Slime Against Humanity. We get a 2-2 two -two Ooze. And now we'll pass. So they have a Vial on two and a Vial on one. We'll draw for turn. It's a Serum Powder. Kind of a bad draw step. I'm going to Surgical Extraction my own Slime Against Humanity here. And now we're just going to exile a bunch of them. It might even be correct to exile all of them. I'm not quite sure. We just need to make sure that next turn when it attacks, no matter how many blockers they have, that it's lethal. So right now I'll be a... I'm going to leave one, just for good measure. And now we'll play the Slime. It's going to be huge. All right, 24-24. We'll attack with the ooze. They'll take two. I can't imagine that they block here, but who knows. They're at 18. They drew another Snoop! Wow, I'm dead. I'm dead. They ripped another Snoop with their one unknown draw step. And they have the Bogart Harbinger. Wow. Sometimes you just get got. 
Lucky Draw beats the Slimes in game number one. So for those of you unfamiliar with the combo, they're going to put Kiki Jiki on top of their deck. They're now going to copy their own Consnicuo uh, Soup. <laughs> I can't talk. Contigu conti wow, I'm really not doing this right now. Conspicuous Snoop. We got there. It took me a second, but I learned how to talk. Okay, so they're going to make a lot of copies of Snoop, and then they're going to go search their library for maybe Sling Gang Lieutenant. There's actually a lot of cards that would kill me, but then they sacrifice all of their goblins and eventually win that way. If you're unfamiliar, the Sling Gang Lieutenant says sacrifice a goblin, uh, target player loses one life, you gain one life, and we're dead. So our opponent had the perfect draw, and unfortunately, we lost game number one. Okay, so we're on the play. I don't want to bring in more copies of Gemstone Caverns. I think we're just going to resubmit. Actually, is Gemstone Caverns might be better than Besaju even on the play. We're, oh, okay, it's not going to let me sideboard. Fine. All right, reveal our Kahira. So this is just turn one Thought Season to turn three Slime for two, Slime for four. Am I supposed to mulligan this? Like, mulliganing for Serum Powder does seem a little dangerous. I think I'm going to keep this. It's worse than our hand in the previous game. Our opponent takes a mulligan to six. Blooming Marsh and Thoughtseize. We'll take their Snoop again. Pass the turn. They boarded in Relic of Regenitus, which is weird because I actually want my cards in exile. I guess it does stop my surgical plan. We'll play an Overgrown Tomb. And let's Thought Seize them again. We'll take the Munitions Expert. Exile Thought Seize. They drew a Cavern of Souls. Okay. And they play a Horde Master. You got it. Another Thought Seize off the top. Okay. I'm going to hold that one. I'd rather just play a Slime this turn. Grab a Basic Forest. We'll play a Slime. They have land number three. And another Horde Master. Okay. So they have one unknown in their hand. I think I'm going to offer the block here because if this dies, they only have one mana to play the goblin on top of their deck. It was a munitions expert and a sling gang lieutenant. So that was a win-win. So both those cards are in exile. Serum powder was a bad draw here. We'll fetch down to 14. Let's grab basic swamp. I will thought seize them. Take the goblin harbinger and another copy of slime against humanity. This should be a 3-3 three, three ooze. We will pass. They activated Relic targeting themselves, exiling a Snoop. I wonder why they targeted themselves instead of me. They activate a Wooded Foothill, so they drew a land for turn. I wonder if they're just going to sacrifice the Relic here. They pick up a Stomping Ground untapped. Oh, you can play it till next turn. I didn't realize that. That's much better. Okay. And we drew another land. Things are not looking good here. We'll play Serum Powder and then put the Kahira to our hand. Pass the turn. For being a deck with 24 Slime Against Humanity in it, we have not drawn any copies that were not in our opening hand. I'll block a Goblin. They'll get to exile the top card of their deck. It's a Masked Vandal. So they'll get to blow up my Serum Powder here, which is actually relevant if I draw a Slime, because I won't be able to Kahira and play a Slime next turn. So the Masked Vandal was, you know, pretty good. And they don't blow up my Serum Powder. We'll take a draw, another land. I think we've lost this one. We flooded out. I never drew another copy of Slime Against Humanity. I guess I'll sit here and lose the game, but we are dead. Like, there's no way to come back from this. Pass the turn. And our opponent drew Kiki Jiki. I'm good to just concede here and stop wasting time. So unfortunately... Our opponent had a pretty good draw step in game number one. Game two, our deck kind of just failed. We didn't draw anything of relevance the entire game. And that just kind of happens in Magic the Gathering sometimes. That's all I really have to say about that. So we're 0-1. There's still four more matches left. I'm sure we'll get some wins.
Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Match number two, we're on the draw. We've opened up a hand of five lands and one copy of Slum Against Humanity. I think we're supposed to mulligan this. This is much better. We'll keep this. Bottom beside you. Let's go. Turn one Colony Garden. So this is likely Amulet Titan. And I have to imagine that Amu Amulet Titan is very good against us. Okay, so not the matchup we wanted. Not Amulet Titan. Maybe it's the... Yeah. Okay, so we're facing the... what? What is it actually called? The card is Warped World, but it's the Cascade version. I mean, I've played it here on this channel, and I can't think of the name off the top of my head. Oh, well. I'm sure we'll see it at some point. Botsies. Okay. So we need to draw land three, and I'm kind of punished here for bottoming the third land. Hopefully I draw one soon. Target them, kill the plant token. Discard, discard. I thought that I did all three modes. I guess I misclicked. Glimpse of tomorrow, there it is. Yeah, so I guess I didn't do all three modes. That's unfortunate. They have the turn three ardent plea into Glimpse of Tomorrow. There it is. The Glimpse of Tomorrow for five. Teferi, Risen Reef, Shardless Agent. Okay. It could have been worse for us. They bounce the Shardless Agent with Teferi. We do draw land number three, but I think I'm supposed to Thought Seize them here. And they did have the blue source for the Shardless Agent. We'll take the Agent, Player Besage you, pass the turn. Them having Endurance is kind of bad for me. Um, not a big fan of that. We'll take two from the Risen Reef. Another slime. Why couldn't this happen last game? All right, we have a 3-3 trample. Endurance has come out to play. They find a temple garden, but with the Risen Reef flashing in Endurance. So now they can play the other to Fairy, or they're pretty close to hard casting the Solitude. They targeted themselves with the Endurance to put the Glimpse of Tomorrow's back into their deck. Okay, that makes sense to me. They plus to Fairy. And play another Teferi. They get rid of my token. Yeah, I mean, our opponent's just very far ahead here. Another Wave Sifter. Okay. We'll take four down to 11. Another Slime. Play it. And here's a Hardcast Solitude. Okay, I'm taking four again down to 11. Blooming Marsh. We'll play another Slime Against Humanity. Pass the turn. So next turn they can play Omnath. First they play another Risen Reef. Okay. They fetch down to 11. Breeding Pool untapped. It looks like they found Charlotte's Agent. I am definitely dead here, right? Yep, I'm dead. Okay, we can go to the next game. So I almost put Chalice of the Void in my sideboard and then decided not to. Because I was like, it's not even that good against Rhinos. Do I want to be doing that? Regret right now. That's what I feel. Okay, I think we'll just keep this and resubmit. Game number two, we're on the play. Kahira, sure thing. Well, this seems like a great serum powder mulligan, so we'll do that. This is interesting. I just have to rip land number three. I think I'm down for that. Turn one, Besaju who shelters all. Once again, they have turn one, Colony Garden. Another slam against humanity. Let's try all three modes again, because I feel like I messed that up previously. Target them, and the plant. Now we're paying costs, and then discard two copies of Slime Against Humanity. We take their Glimpse of Tomorrow. I could Surgical the Glimpse right now. They don't have a Cascader. But if I Surgical my own Slimes, it really increases my chance of drawing a land. So I'm going to do that. And we're trying to draw a land here. I think I'll leave two in the deck. Okay, they have another colony garden. Let's see a land, please. Pretty please. A, we're just Besaidu tribal. 
Slime Against Humanity. 22-22. Trample. There we go. Our deck is functioning? I can't believe it. We have a Cavern of Souls. Elemental. I imagine that this is Risen Reef. They have to hit Solitude here. And their draw step would have had to have been a white card. Let's go! First game win. Now let's get game number three. We're finally on the draw, which means that I can board in more copies of Gemstone Caverns. I don't think we need Besaju who endures. That can probably get out. Well, I actually don't think we need Besaju who shelters all in this matchup either. So maybe that's the one that should leave. Well, let's try this. Game three, revealing our Kahira. We have Serum Powder. Okay. Exiling four lands is a little bit scary. Well, Serum Powder Mulligan. This is a very good hand. We're going to keep. Once again, I need to draw land number three. Leyline is Sanctity, so I won't be able to collect a Brutality them. Play the Overrun Tomb. Pass the turn. A Fetch. Wave Sifter to create a Clue Token. Two Clue Tokens, whatever. Thoughtseize, not a very good draw step with that Leyline in play. We will pass. Still need to draw land number three. I suppose last turn I could have gone Thoughtseize myself, Surgical, my Slimes. That was a line I had access to. Risen Reef, okay. And Colony Garden. Another Slime Against Humanity. I'm only able to choose the one mode here. So we'll kill the Risen Reef. Pass. This looks like an Omnath. Yep. Misty Rainforest. Temple Garden, tap. So this will generate four mana. The Fairy Time Raveler, okay. Yeah, I feel like we're being buried now because I just didn't hit my third land. Brutal. Okay, Thought sees myself. Discard a Slime. Surgical my Slime. Okay, pass the turn. And I mean, I did misplay this game. I probably should have done that on the second turn, but I just didn't see it. Well, at least at the time I didn't. And I feel like now the game is... Uh, Snowballed to the point where I'm likely not going to recover. They play Ardent Plea floating three mana. They Glimpse of Tomorrow. And I am dead here. Okay, so I'm good to pick it up. We are now zero and two. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match number three on the draw. We've opened up two lands, surgical, collector brutality, triple slime again. We're on the draw. I think I'm going to choose to keep this. Inspiring Vantage, okay. Monastery Swift Spear, so besage you against burn. Not ideal here. I will admit. Okay, I like drawing the Vernon Catacombs. I'm going to choose to try to not play the Besaju. I could play it on turn one, guaranteeing the turn three Slime Against Humanity, but it's going to be so painful to turn one Besaju, turn two Collector Brutality, turn three Slime. Our opponent plays a Wooded Foothills. A Lava Spike, okay. And a Skewer the Critic, so we're going to fall to 10 life here. Ouch. We do not draw an untapped third land, unfortunately. Grab the basic forest. We're going to play Collector Brutality for all three modes. Target them, the Swift Spear, and then them again. Discard a Slime and Thoughtseize. Take the Boros Charm. Pass the turn. They suspend Rift Bolt. And now they're passing with two cards in hand. We do not draw untapped land number three. We'll play Besaju past the turn. They Lightning Bolt me, I go to eight. Rift Bolt will put me to five. So how we win this game is that our opponent just draws a number of lands in a row pretty much. There's a Goblin Guide. So the Guide is going to attack. I'm going to Surgical my own Slime Against Humanity here. Improving my odds that I hit a land that doesn't deal me damage. 
Once again, we're going to remove a lot of these from the game. The Goblin Guide trigger can now resolve. And we do hit a land. So the Goblin Guide is going to put me to three here. I'm dead to any effect that deals three damage. And that's the ball game. Okay. Unfortunate. We do have Leyline of Sanctities. Those are a card we're interested in. Viseju, who shelters all can get out of her deck, will bring in extra copies of Gemstone Caverns. You probably take out Thoughtseize versus the Burn deck. Let's try out this. Game number two, we're on the play. Kahira, of course. I mean, it does have Leyline in it. I think we'll keep. Lead on Verdant Catacombs and pass. Opponent just snap concedes. I love that. Second win. Boom. Let's try to get a third. We'll just resubmit. All right. Game number three. No ley line. No gemstone caverns. I think we're supposed to send this back. We'll serum powder mulligan this one. Put a land on the bottom. So we're going to exile these six. Uh, am I supposed to go to five here? I think so. We'll keep this five. Okay. So our first slime will be a 4-4. Four, four. I think realistically, we're not going to win this game unless I draw Collector Brutality, but we'll see. The Lava Spike, sure thing. Right on time, Gemstone Caverns. Overgrown Tomb, pass. Our opponent plays land number two, five cards in hand. Idle on to the Great Rebel, sure. Play another Overgrown Tomb, pass the turn. They attack, we go to 15. They lava spike, I go to 12. And another Eidolon. Okay, I'm at 12 life. Every slime I now play deals me four. So this puts me to eight. Our opponent plays a third copy of Eidolon of the Great Rebel. This puts them to nine life. We'll play a Blooming Marsh. So if I attack, they go to five and they can't cast any spells. And then they swing out. I go to two. I attack them, and they go to one and win. Or if I attack, they don't block, I play slime, I then die if they attack. So I think the best thing here is just putting the key here to hand and passing, and hoping that they mess up. The best card I could draw here would be Beseju who endures. And there's one of them in my exile, so I only have one left in my deck. Our opponent draws a card using Fiery Islet, and then they play a Sun Baked Canyon. And they just pass. So it looks like we're in this weird standoff here. I'll play Gemstone Caverns and pass. They draw a card using the Sunbaked Canyon. And now they're going to attack out, which means I'm probably dead here. Block an Eidolon. Boros Charm kills me. Lightning Helix. Sure. And now I'm locked out of the game. I can't do anything. Okay, so we're 0 and 3. Yikes, we've gotten a couple game wins, but. None in the same match. Hopefully we can in match number four. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. All right, match number four, we're on the draw. This seems a little too slow. I'm going to try to mulligan here. This is a great serum powder mulligan. Put the land on the bottom. I think this one might actually be a keep. Okay, so obviously having Serum Powder is not ideal, but this is turn one Thought Season to turn three Slime. Blooded Strand, okay. And actually, I think I'm going to wait until turn two to play Thought Seas. On our end step, the opponent fetches up an Undercity Sewers Tapped, and they ended up keeping the card on top of their deck. Scalding Tarn, okay. And they Thought Seas me, how dare them. They take my thought sees. That's what I get for deciding to wait until turn two. I thought that maybe they were just on like a dedicated control deck and I could have waited to see if, like, give yourself the opportunity to look at another card that might stop you. Unfortunately, I was punished here. Our opponent put both cards on the bottom with Preordain. Okay. We draw a land. I'll just play the forest and pass. They draw and pass. Okay. We have the surgical. I don't know if I like the surgical plan versus whatever our opponent's doing here. Counter spell, sure. Let's exile their counter spells. We did rip one from their hand, I love that. They do have a fatal push and a brazen borrower. That's going to answer my 
next two copies of Slime Against Humanity. And they drew land number three for Sauron's Ransom. And this is the part of the game where we kind of uh, flood out. Play the slime. They go to 11. And Sauron's Ransom. Okay. These are my piles. They ended up taking Thoughtseize plus Dress Down. They Thoughtseize me, have fun with my Serum Powder. And then they drew Scalding turn for turn. They bounce my Slime Against Humanity token. I guess I'll fetch my upkeep. Grab Overgrown Tomb. We drew a slime. Love it. We know that the Stubborn Denial is in the graveyard, so we can play this without being afraid. An 8-8 eight, eight Ooze token. We know that they're still sitting on Fatal Push. They go to 6 life here. And there goes the slime. So they have Dress Down, Sauron's Ransom, and one unknown in hand. Interesting. I think I'm going to do this. I'd rather them not have Murktide region. And they took the Murktide region anyway. That's a bummer. They're at four life. If I can rip a slime here, there's a chance we can put up a fight. We do. Okay. Play the slime against humanity. Nine nine trample. We know that they still have preordain plus dress down in hand. They play the preordain. One on top, one on the bottom, another preordain. Both on the bottom that time. They play a land. Death's Shadow with the dress down in hand, so they have lethal next turn. That's not good. We have the collective brutality here. Unfortunately. Well, I can blow up the dress down using Besaju. Is there a way to win here? That's the question. I think we have to bait them. That's the only way to do it. So my plan here is I'm going to attack. I think that they're going to flash and dress down and block. I will besage you the dress down. And then hopefully they fetch. They're not going to fall for it here, it looks like. Oh, okay. They go to three. Ah, uh, I needed them to get a shock here. All right, so my only way of winning. No, that doesn't work either. I would need another card in hand to do uh, to work that way. Because I need the Besager to kill Dress Down. Yeah, they got me. I forgot about just the fetch for one life. Uh, I mean, I didn't have another way to win if they made this play. So it is what it is. We made it close, though. I think I'm good with just resubmitting. Game number two, we're on the play. Reveal our Kahira. You know what? I'm going to keep it. I know that you only have one slime, no serum powder, but this hand is so good. All right, Blooming Marsh and then Thought Seize. Holy removal, Batman. We will take Fatal Plush. Pass the turn. They play an Undercity Sewers. We draw Besaju. We'll play Overgrown Tomb Tapped and then Thought Seize. Take the Dismember. Pass the turn. They play Polluted Delta and Dothy Voidwalker. We draw another slime. I'm going to play the Besaju who endures. I don't feel like holding it open for dress down. I think my life points are a little bit more valuable here. All right, we have a 2 2 ooze. They attack for three. Play Besaju. Let's play another slime. Did you draw a counter spell? You did not. I am the aggro. Swing, swing. They Sauron's Ransom. We'll give them Dress Down plus Stubborn Denial or a Fatal Push Land. They took Fatal Push Land. Okay. Blooded Strand. They're at 12 life. Preordain. They kill my ooze. No. And a 1 1 Death Shadow. Ouch. They go to 10. Another land was not ideal here. We'll play Slam Against Humanity. Play the Overgrown Tomb. Pass the turn. So I don't want to attack. Or at least I don't think I do. Because their Death Shadow will become a 3-3. And I'm just helping them at that point. Another Fatal Push. That's devastating here. Preordain. They found Dismember. Ugh. That's exactly lethal. So I do have a rule on this channel. And if I owe for a league, I don't record match number 5. So if you wanted to see me get annihilated again, uh, there's other YouTube videos you could watch. But we're not doing it here in this YouTube video. So this was the deck list. How would I fix it? Honestly, I'm not sure. I think that just the concept of Slime Against Humanity is a little bit slow. So if you wanted to play this kind of strategy, maybe you look into some acceleration. 
maybe Arbor Elf or Utopia Sprawl, Birds of Paradise. I'm not really sure. But I think Slime Against Humanity is just a little bit slow for this format. My two cents. But thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. And as always, keep storming. You know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you enjoyed the deck list in today's video, go to the comment section. Check out that pinned comment where you will find two links. One for TCG Player, so you can buy the deck. And the other is so that you can rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Card Hoarder is the best rental service for Magic Online. They truly make playing online extremely affordable. Go check out Card Hoarder today.